All right, so what exactly happened to Mussolini and Hitler? Uh, they die within two days of each other, um, April 28th and April 30th, 1945. So what's the story behind uh, how this all happened? This on the left-hand side here, this is Mussolini, okay? Benito Mussolini, he started out as the prime minister of Italy, then he kind of takes over as dictator. Um, in the beginning, people kind of like him because he makes things more efficient. He uh, he br brings a lot of economic prosperity to um, the country, and um, things are going to go downhill from there. He becomes this control freak. He kind of takes over... Um, a lot of things by force. And by the end, he is pretty much despised within um, w within Italian society. Um, so by the end of the war, by uh, you know April of 1945, it's pretty clear that Italy is going to be on the losing side of this thing. Um, so he tries to escape. Now, the story goes that he's trying to escape through northern Italy, um, you know, kind of through Milan, Bergamo, kind of that area up near the Alps. He's trying to get out of Italy so that he can get to a, a safe place. He's trying to escape. Um, so he's traveling with a couple of bodyguards. Um, supposedly he was also, uh, I believe it was, he was tra traveling with his mistress as well. Um, comes to a village. The villagers recognize him, really don't like him, and decide that they're just going to kind of administer justice themselves. They wind up killing uh, everyone in the uh, in the traveling party, and not only do they kill him, but they hang their bodies upside down in the town square for days so that people can come by and hit them, spit on them throw rotten tomatoes at them, whatever people wanted to do. Um, that's that's what, what was going to happen. So um, he starts out being loved by Italians, and by the end, he's absolutely despised by Italians. So that was, once again, April 28th, 1945. April 30th, 1945, is going to be the guy on the right, Adolf Hitler, the leader of Germany. Now, we all know, um, you know, about Hitler, who he was. We kind of, uh, we, we did a did a, an assignment, um, you know, kind of going over the different leaders. Um, Adolf Hitler is um, kind of in the same situation. The Soviets, the Americans, the British, they're all kind of closing in on Berlin. What's going to happen? Well, he, um, the, the official story is that he was not one that was going to try to run. He was not going to be. Uh, captured. Um, Mussolini tried to run. Uh, Hitler, the story is that he was not going to do that. So they're in what's known as the Fuhrer bunker in Berlin. He has ordered all his top Nazi officials to all bring their families into this bunker. And as the Soviet troops are getting closer and closer and closer, the um, story is, and this part of it we know is true, Hitler uh, had given orders to all of the Nazi leadership um, that they were to, they and their entire families were to commit suicide. Um, he had them convinced that they were absolutely going to be, uh, you know, they were going to be executed, they were going to be tortured um, if they were captured. So rather than that, uh, the, the honorable thing would be to commit suicide. So they had all been given cyanide capsules. Um, there is actual, there are evidence people found um, these top officials who had, uh, you, know, you know, shot their children um, and then had taken cyanide capsules. Um, you know, the, some of them um, would have, would have, you know, shot their wives. In some cases, the wives would have taken cyanide. Either way, all of these Nazis officials were, were killing themselves. Adolf Hitler and his mistress, Eva Braun, were in their bunker, their portion of the bunker, with their uh, German shepherd. The story goes that he shoots the dog, and then he and Eva Braun both uh, take cyanide capsules and commit suicide. Now, I keep saying this is the story because um, this is the story that was told by, you know, German bodyguards to Soviet soldiers. 
So these bodyguards had been instructed that if that ever happened, if he had ever committed suicide, that they were to burn the body so that it could not be taken, it could not be recognized, it could not be, you know, dismembered, whatever. Um, so they took these Soviet soldiers to a burned body and said, hey, this is Hitler. And for a long, long time, um, they we just kind of accepted that as that is the only version of the story that there is. Um, now, we've gotten to a point where um, it's been long enough that a lot of a lot of evidence, a lot of investigation, a lot of you know, FBI reports are being released. They're coming to light. And the reality is, is that after that, the uh, the FBI, the Secret Service, the CIA, they did investigations to find out, is this what actually happened or could something else happen? If you would have asked me five years ago that I think that Hitler could have escaped um, and maybe didn't die as a result of suicide at the end of World War II, I would have said, you're absolutely crazy. I, there's no way that he could have gotten out. Today, I'm not so sure. I watched the uh, History Channel show not long ago called Hunting Hitler, where they went back and they recreated, based on the evidence, um, recreated the investigation based on the evidence that they had seen in that. And um, <clears throat> there are a lot of holes. Um, there, there's a lot of reason to think that maybe he could have gotten out. Maybe he could have escaped. Um, there's a lot of people in South America, which is, coincidentally is where a lot of Nazis have been found. There's a lot of people in South America that uh, claim to have seen Adolf Hitler in South America after April 1945. Um, so if that's something that interests you, uh, I would encourage you to just kind of look up that evidence, maybe look up that show, uh, and you'll look and see what else is out there. Because, um, like I say, we just kind of took the Soviets' word that, hey, yep, the body that they've got under lock and key, that is, in fact, uh, Adolf Hitler. But one of the things they showed in, in the uh, the Hunting Hitler program um, was that they finally allowed somebody to do DNA testing of what they believed to be Adolf Hitler. And it turned out that the DNA told them that the body was actually female. Couldn't have been him. So my point is this. Um, could he have committed suicide? Absolutely he could have. Could he have gotten uh, out five years ago? I'd have said absolutely not. Today, I'm not so sure about that, uh, but I'll leave that open to interpretation. Um, if that's something you're interested in, I encourage you to continue looking up more information and continuing to educate yourself.